Hello, it's Dave at cartitles.com and titlerecovery.com. When we're doing a title recovery and getting you a title for your vehicle, or if you're doing it yourself somehow, be sure to, to not avoid sales tax on any part of that process. The titling process is not designed to evade any type of sales tax. If sales tax is due on a car, it's due on the car. Uh, if the titling process is used as a mechanism to skate around sales tax or not pay sales tax, it can create some serious problems for you as a person who is due, who should be paying that tax and maybe even future owners of that vehicle because that title can be uh, put at risk of not being valid. Uh, remember that when you're talking about sales tax, in most states it's really defined as sales and use use tax. So just because you didn't necessarily buy that car or uh, it wasn't actually purchased in the time frame you're talking about, it's sales and use tax. So if you're going to use that car, you owe the tax. If you structure any transaction to evade, uh, specifically if evade the tax, then you're structuring to defraud a government agency. You're structuring it to defraud um, the government out of money they were entitled to that usually is not a good thing to do. That's usually something that the government agency is gonna take very seriously and have some pretty serious consequences for a person who does that or helps do that. Uh, we can certainly legally help mitigate the amount of tax by making sure that the valuation is correct. Uh, if the vehicle is a low value in certain condition, then you wanna pay the tax based on that amount. You may have tax credits due to you, because of tax already paid. We can find out maybe there's already taxes paid on that vehicle. And we'll also use the best legal state DMV titling process uh, for that vehicle, for your circumstances, for your particular scenario, to make sure that the sales tax isn't any more than what it's legally supposed to be. But uh, the titling process is part of an ownership transfer that usually involves paying of sales tax. Don't try to avoid paying sales tax. It may be a few hundred bucks. Uh, don't try to get out of it. Don't try to save a few bucks and put yourself at some type of uh, legal consequence or legal jeopardy just over a few hundred dollars because the end result cost could be thousands in terms of fees, fines, criminal records, that kind of thing. You don't want to jump title to try to avoid sales tax uh, on a vehicle and try to combine the fact that you need a title with the fact of maybe saving sales tax illegally.